Yeah, that's significant damage in Escambia County, Alabama, and that's what Grant was just talking about. The powerful winds twisting mobile homes into a pile of rubble. Six residents hurt. At least two are listed in critical condition. And WKRG News 5's Blake Brown is there in the porch community near Atmore now. Been there all day, and Blake, you talked with a woman who rode out the storm with her little girls, and as a mother, I am positive that motherly instinct kicked in. Absolutely, Cherish. You know, all of the residents out here telling me today they are lucky to be alive, and I think you can see why just taking a live look here behind me. She says she ran as fast as she could to her daughters trying to protect them from the storm. Uh, luckily, her home is okay, Cherish, but again, here at the damage right now, you can see uh, this was one mobile home right here that had blown all the way across this uh, gravel road, and crews have been out here throughout the afternoon, luckily clearing a lot of the debris and kind of making space for some new mobile homes that I'm told will actually be delivered here tomorrow. So that is some good news. But again, it has been a long day for residents here who now are starting the cleanup process. Take a look. I could have lost my baby. And that, that, that's the worst thing that you can really get. It's just I'm telling I'm so lost for words right now. Complete shock Friday morning, the best way for Bianca Peoples to describe the terrifying moments as she ran for cover with her three daughters. I was scared, and I, me, I ain't never been more scared in my life. I ain't scared of nothing. But that, I was scared. I hear the shaking, it's hitting the trailer, it's hitting the trailer. Like, you, the whole trailer was finna come up. She was one of the lucky ones at Big Oak Village Mobile Home Park near Atmore. When strong winds began tearing homes apart, some of the mobile homes now unrecognizable. We thought the trailer was finna flip over. We looked out the door. All these trailers that's flying over on top of each other. Corey Henderson says a padded headboard is the only thing that protected him from an air conditioning unit when the storm woke him up with no time to take shelter. Thank you, Jesus, that we still here. Nine mobile homes damaged or completely destroyed, but luckily everyone is alive. Sheriff Heath Jackson says six residents here were injured, one of those asleep when the storm hit. The sheriff now telling his remarkable story of survival. He was asleep. He said when he woke up, he was in the woods. So, um, you know, obviously the good Lord was looking out for him, and, and we appreciate that. Absolutely. Again, incredible story of survival here today out in the porch community. Again, you're taking a live look at some of that damage a little uh, further in the distance. We're talking about nine mobile homes here that were damaged or completely destroyed. Again, all of this happening in just a matter of seconds, Cherish. I do want to say the American Red Cross, they have been out here on scene this afternoon, immediately following the storm earlier this morning. They are out here assisting the families. Also, the National Weather Service in Mobile, they will be sending a uh, survey team up here tomorrow. We'll have another look at the damage coming up tonight at 5. Live in the Porch Community, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.